Hi everyone, hope you all are doing well and hope you all are staying safe. Dimple here again welcoming you all to today's session on Android Framework Components. A previous session we saw where exactly we can find the source code of CTS, GTS and VTS. So CTS, yes, for a couple of them source code is available on Android Google platform. But for GTS and VTS source code will be given only as a part of agreement or partnership program. So it's all licensed in case of uh, GTS and VTS. So in today's session, uh, we'll see some of the uh, CTS test categories. When I say CTS, is a list of test cases obviously there will be uh, different types of test cases right so uh, what are those different types of test suits and also uh, what are the probable bug fixes in such test cases uh, we will see uh, today so the compatibility test suit for android includes a wide range of test cases to ensure that android devices and softwares meet compatibility requirements here are a few cts test categories along with some po possible bug fixes so let's move on. Uh, the first type of category I would like to say is API compatibility testing. So this API compatibility testing will ensure that the Android APIs behave as expected and are consistent across different Android versions. It's very much needed, right? And also they check the compatibility of third party applications with Android platform. For example, I write my own customized map application, which has to uh, basically uh, uh, coexist and uh, work together or get the APIs from the actual Google Maps app. But when my third party app is not coping up, when it's not compatible with other system apps, then whatever I write is at a waste. Uh, so, uh, these API compatibility test suits will ensure that your API levels are correct and compatible with the Android versions. For example, if I write an application which is working on Android 11, but if I install that and try to uh, uh, perform test cases on Android Oreo, obviously it fails. So it's like that. Possible bug fixes uh, can be uh, like this. Uh, if a bug is found in an API, developers may need to update the API implementation and release the patch to ensure consistent behavior across Android versions. And also uh, to check the compatibility of third party apps, if an app doesn't work as expected on certain Android devices, developers may need to update their app to handle device specific variations of fix compatible issues so that's related to api compatibility testing i hope you all got an understanding let's move on uh, next type of category is security testing and uh, these security testing includes test cases like which will verify the security features and requirements of android including permission encryptions and secure boot so how to fix if any of the security testing issue is found if security vulner vulnerability is somehow identified the android security team will work on a fix and release a security patch to address the issue so if we find out the app is somehow uh, leaking some of the secure information from the device that time uh, the security testing will be performed and uh, suitable uh, bugs will be fixed accordingly next type or next category is performance testing so the test cases which come under this performance testing they perform like this so they access the performance of android device including speed memory usage and resource management and uh, performance bottlenecks may require optimization in the android operating system kernel or device specific components to improve the responsiveness and resource management so for example i have some uh, component or some system component which is taking too much memory because of that my device is becoming very slow so uh, why such memory is being used or uh, why my device speed is reducing to 
check all that there will be multiple test cases so performance testing will include such test cases next category i would like to uh, talk is hardware compatibility testing and these include cases which validate hardware components like cameras sensors and connectivity options which are working correctly so they basically check if the hardware and software are working correctly so if hardware component doesn't function as expected device manufacturers may release firmware or driver up updates to address these kinds of issues the next type would be platform integrity testing and this uh, will include test cases which uh, make sure the integrity of the android platform which uh, includes a bootloader system integrity checks and verified boot process so whether the boot of the android device is happening correctly whether uh, every step by step is being uh, processed correctly all such things are handled by integrity testing and uh, when what kind of bugs will come in this cases so if vulnerabilities are uh, discovered in the boot process or system integrity android may release updates to enhance this platform security related to a uh, device boot issues whichever come my device is not booting up it's going to some black screen or it's going back to recovery screen such uh, kind of test cases come under this category platform integrity testing next we'll talk about multimedia testing and uh, these include test cases which check for multimedia features including video audio playbacks and codecs so it's understood right it's related to audio video things on the device so for example video is being played but i'm not able to hear the audio or i'm hearing only the audio but i'm not able to see the video the screen is blank so such thousands of such test cases will be coming under this multi multimedia testing category so if multimedia playback issues occur developers might update their codecs or multimedia frameworks to address compatibility uh, and playback problems so next we'll see about uh, network and connectivity testing uh so this includes uh, thousands of test cases which come under this category such as a uh, validate network and connectivity features including wifi cellular and bluetooth so to, related to all the network radios and um, uh, my wifi is not getting connected or wifi and bluetooth both are not getting connected at the same time or uh, i'm not getting tower to perform a phone call so such uh, thousands of test cases come under this particular category so if connectivity issue arises device manufacturers or application developers may issue uh, software updates to improve network compatibility and reliability so uh these were the different types of uh, test categories uh, which come under cts so i hope you all are getting an idea now how see there are uh, thousands and thousands of test cases and they are again uh, categorized into different uh, format so it's easy for testing right so network related issues or multimedia related issues or hardware related issues api related performance related issues or uh, be it um, security related issues so it's categorized into different buckets so it's easy to uh, identify and further work on work on them uh, remember that these specific bug fixes will vary depending on the issue the component and the context in which it's discovered android team device manufacturers as well as app developers all of them have to work collaboratively to address and fix these compatibility issues identified during cts testing to ensure a reliable and consistent android experience so there will be a role of everyone here be it app developer or the device manufacturer along with google all of them have to work in uh, compatibility uh, in compatibility and collaboratively they have to uh, work to make sure these compatibility issues are resolved it's not like one person has to uh, fix this issues there will be a team effort and there will be multiple teams involved here so that was all about today uh, stay tuned for my upcoming videos i'll see you all soon in my next session until then everyone take care bye see you soon